What's up ladies, welcome back to my channel. Today for you I have baby favorites. Yes, I have literally had babies for the last 10 years. I'm a mom of four and I would like to think that I'm a professional at making babies. No, that doesn't sound right. I'm a professional at finding products and making it easier for me to take care of my babies. So I hope to help new mommies out there. And if you're interested in subscribing, definitely do that and hit the little bell notification so you're notified every single time I post a video. Also, if you like this mommy stuff, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. But I've basically, like I said, I've been having babies for the last 10 years and I've had four C-sections. So having babies has definitely been a huge part of my life and I would just love to share all of that information with you guys. So if you want to see all of this stuff, make sure you get a snack, get some tea, because girl, there's a lot. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Like a fever, So the first thing I have is my Halo bassinet. Now I'm going to insert a picture of it here because I don't have it anymore. My baby's a little bit older than bassinet age, but I didn't think I liked it at first, but after having a new bassinet after that, I realized how much I love the Halo and of all the bassinets, I would choose that one again and again. So it basically swivels and it goes over your bed and you can see your baby and it gives you that peace of mind and they're right there. So I just, I love, 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 love um, the Halo bassinet. I would highly suggest it. Okay, next thing is a pack and play. Now this is a mandatory must have thing. Like if you wanna have it, I have um, upstairs and downstairs and I keep the pack and play downstairs. She can take her naps. We bring it outside. We bring it traveling with us. A pack and play is vital. I'm going to give you guys a couple extra options. I have a very basic one right now, but I used to have one that had like a changing table and it was so nice because I had a C-section. So I had my um, pack and play with the changing station downstairs by the couch because I couldn't keep going up and down because I was healing. So it was perfect for that. So if you guys are looking for extra changing station get the one with the changing station but if I had to pick one I will go basic basic you can take it anywhere it's smaller it's lighter it's more compact so I will give you guys both those options down below okay so the next thing is so it's a Prince Lionheart seat protector now this goes underneath the car seat in your car and it basically basically protects from food and from milk or whatever this is like a barrier in between the kids and all their crap <laughs> it's good to have and I would highly suggest getting one wherever your car seats are gonna be. Okay, I don't know why I can't find it, it's so annoying, but I have these, I will insert a picture here, but I have these headphones. Now they're sound canceling headphones for babies. So if you go to like a festival or um, a farmer's market where there's loud music, the movie theater, whatever it is, no judgment here, Whatever, wherever you want to bring your baby, it's completely up to you. I'm all for it. So my next favorite is this Tommy Tippy. Now I have um, told everybody about this thing and it's amazing. You open it up, it twists like this. Okay, the lid's gone. Obviously my kids got to it. <laughs> but there's a lid that goes on here. You put hot water inside of here, okay? And then you put this on there and on the go, all you do is you pour the hot water in you can stick your food pouch, your um, frozen baby milk, whatever it is, you put it in here, you pour the water inside and it heats whatever up perfectly on the go. And I've literally used this with the last three kids. The first kid, I didn't know about it, but it's amazing. So if you guys are gonna be heating up milk or food, going to restaurants, or you're out on the go running errands, get this. You need this, okay? Love this. We have two different little feeders here okay this one is a mesh strain uh, feeder okay now I have two different ones because they do two different things you could just get one I mean that's perfectly fine but I just liked having um, the versatility so for me if you're gonna do like raspberries or something I would go mesh strainer if you're gonna do um, what what do I do in here? Strawberries or anything like that where you want little bits, more bits to come out, I would do the silicone. But 
this one traps I feel like the little seeds or things that you don't want to come out this gives out less and this gives out more so depending on what you're giving your baby I think it's good to have both of these but when you have a baby you think you're gonna be putting in putting them in all these clothes these beautiful clothes I just feel like Instagram just messes you up and Pinterest they just lie to you they lie to you and tell you that your baby's gonna look fabulous all the time well that's a lie from the pits of hell I'm gonna tell you right now my baby lived in pajamas okay lived it's almost embarrassing how much they lived in pajamas I tried with the first one but as you have more and multiples pajamas is the way of life Okay, let me show you. And the trick is, I learned, okay, because Lord knows I had buttons with the first baby, but after that first baby, I learned real quick, buttons are a no-no, okay? Only the ones that have three little buttons on the onesies, and even those are annoying. But zippers are your best friend, okay? When you're tired and you're up in the middle of the night and you're trying to change a diaper, you are not going to want to snap. So zipper everything. Like, I'm so anti-button, it's not even funny. I'm just like, buttons! So, anyways, lots of onesies. These are all my favorites. Um, zipper onesies. So I'll list a couple down below of the different brands that I like, but zipper onesies are definitely top on my priority list for sleeping. Okay, so I'll insert a picture here. So it's called the Comfort and Woomby Peanut Sleeper. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called but it's a zipper sleeper and it's like a little cocoon. You zipper them up inside and it's like a swaddle without having to swaddle them. I'm telling you, you guys, life changing. I had two babies without it and two babies with. I'm telling you right now, it literally is a lifesaver. So you zip them up, little arms are cocooned in there and they just sleep so snug. They look like a little peanut. That's why they call it the peanut. But I highly suggest those, definitely check them out. Also. As they get a little older and start progressing out of the swaddling stage, you know, two to three months or however long you choose, it's completely up to you. It's everybody has their own right to choose how long they swaddle. But I use these, okay? These are sleep sacks. And this is basically a blanket for your baby because it is not safe to have a blanket inside of your crib. So these are in place of a blanket. You're basically, they're wearing their blanket. So you put their little PJs on if it's cold or you just have nothing in a diaper if it's hot and they have a cute little blanket that they wear that keeps them nice and safe. Now also, getting into sleeping, this. This is the dome. My sister-in-law bought this off of my register for me. And this is literally one of the best, best things. I wasn't sure at first because it has a weird noise. And you know, I mean, I know that like a sound machine isn't supposed to be something that we enjoy, but it's for babies. But actually, as time goes on, we've got sound machines for everybody in all the kids' rooms. It just helps it so you're not so jumpy. You know what I mean? And that's what it's for for the baby too. And tip for you as a mom, if your baby's good, you have a baby monitor, you're going to be able to hear your baby cry, okay? Because that cry is, you're going to be sensitive to it. But after having four kids, your girl is jumpy. It's like a freaking scary movie every night. I'm hearing noises and I'm scared, like literally scared to death of like everything. I'm just like, what's that? What's that? I like shoot up and I'm just like, oh my God, I heard something. And I'm like hitting my husband, my poor husband, I'm hitting him and he's shooting up. He's like, what is it? I literally hear something like every night. So. I use one of these because it helps cancel the sound out and I can still hear my kids but I don't hear all the little creaks of the house so, so not just for babies also for moms get yourself a sound machine you will not regret it as far as pacifiers go my kids loved the ma'am m-a-m they tried all of them all of my babies were all breastfed some longer than others but for some reason that's the one that stuck with them I would just say buy a couple different brands and have them ready for you at the hospital if you're going to go the pacifier route. Now I've had babies that have had the pacifier and I've had babies that haven't. So I've experienced all of this. This is by Tiny Love and let's see if we can turn it on here. Okay, which the cool thing is you can put this on a bassinet, on their crib, whatever it is. It plays music or you can turn the music off and then it still spins. But isn't that so cute? They, I think, I'm pretty sure they have boy colors too. I'll link it down below if they do, but um, I've hooked this on everything. So 
she loved this thing this is definitely one of my favorites you could honestly hook it on the stroller or if you have one of those little buggies you can put it on that but this is definitely a good one. and on that same note this is a similar thing but I use this for this is also by tiny love um, this one goes on the car seat or your stroller it's a portable one you can put it in their car or wherever but I really really like um, you know that it gives them something to look at and entertains them a little bit. So another one of my favorite um, baby items that all of my babies didn't have but I believe it was my favorite was the baby Bajorn bouncer. I've had multiple bouncers and for some reason I just liked the way the baby was positioned in that one. You cannot um, I believe you can change like the angle at which it sits but that's all you can't it didn't do much else but I liked how simple and basic it was like sometimes the more simple the better okay and then next on my list is my swing now this is the swing that I absolutely loved and this goes to baby preference and I hate to say that because if you go out and spend $250 $300 $500 on a swing your baby may not like it your baby's gonna tell you what they like so I had the mom for moms, and I really, really, really liked that one. I used that for my boy, okay? And it had like this different type of motion that it would do, and he loved it, okay? I'm also gonna link another one that just swung from side to side. Now, one baby, and I know this sounds kind of crazy, but I had two different swings, one for upstairs and one for downstairs, so I could see which one he liked better. He liked the moms for you, moms for you. I think so and you can get it at Target or Babies R Us. I like the Moms For You one better because it had the features that I was looking for because when you're a mom and you're tired and you don't feel like getting up you just grab your phone go into your application and you can turn your swing on you can change the setting you can put the sounds on and it's all in the application loved that feature but uh, my next baby did not like the swing of that one as much. It was just a different type of swinging motion. She liked the one that was smoother and just probably says a lot about their personality because my son's a little, he's a little rigid. And my baby girl, she's just calm and chill. So it has a lot to do with who they are and what they like for baby preference. So I will link both of those in the down bar below for you guys. Next item is a, I believe I featured this on another video, but I'm getting to really, really, really love this thing. It's called a play activity center, okay? And it folds up and you can take it wherever you go. Where I like it is at the pool and I just put an extra umbrella over her or we'll sit in the shade while my kids swim and I'll be there with the baby. And it just gives her something to do so I don't have to hold her. She gets bored in her stroller. And then also we bring it out into the backyard. So they will, the kids will play in the water. She'll get in her little activity center and she'll play and it is awesome. So I highly suggest it. All right, my next item is by Como Tomo, and these are baby bottles. They come in green and they also come in pink. And I like that they're super soft and I just feel like the baby can grip them really good. You have to secure them on properly if you're gonna get these. All of the grooves when you're twisting it on have to be lined up or it will leak. But I learned that and that hopefully will help you guys, but you just have to twist it on slowly and securely and twist it on tight and then it won't leak. leak. So anyways, I love these bottles. These are the ones that I've been using for the last couple of babies and they're my go-to. Anyways, I love this little guy. It's a teething um, little elephant and it's so easy for the babies to grip and they just chew the heck out of this thing. I honestly have had like 10. As I was looking through all my orders, there was like 10 of these because you lose them or whatever. But I put one of those tethering straps that goes to the high chair or to the car seat or whatever they're sitting in and so it doesn't drop onto the floor and you don't lose them. So I highly suggest getting the tethering things and getting this little guy. Also, this is one that's very similar. Um, this comes in different colors as well, but it's a little, they say it's like a baby toothbrush, but my babies used it as um, a little chewing toy. So they absolutely love it and it's just super soft and easy to grip just like the other one. All right, you guys, I'm cutting this video a little bit short. It ended up being really long, so I'm making this a two-part video. So stay tuned, you do not wanna miss it. I'm doing a whole series on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and stay tuned for that part two of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm always your girl, Lorna Marie.